Morning traders, and this is your DAX day trading setup for today. Well, yesterday's bar is, that is a shooting star. That's a classic shooting star. So it's a range bar, complete indecision. Nobody knew whether to go long or short. And we basically opened and closed at the same level after gapping up. Now, if we get a gap down and we start getting some momentum to the downside and we close below here, we have a shooting star reversal on the daily, which is fairly significant. Okay, so again, um, remember two days ago, I asked the question whether this was now a an exhaustion bar. And looking at what we see now, it is very possible that this was an exhaustion bar. Uh, if we look at the weekly, the weekly is still a fairly bullish signal. Okay, so it's still fairly bullish. Not quite to a level, we're sort of in a zone of levels, but you know, the trend is still up on the weekly. The daily, however, you know, we've got a, a mixed bag of things here. And we've also got the oscillators grouped to the upside as well. So uh, looking like a, a reversal or a pullback area on the daily at the moment. If we look at the three hour, you'll see trend is still up. We are easing off a little bit on the oscillators. So trend is still up. And there's something that actually happened yesterday even though it's a bit of a, an indecision bar. And that is this. Area here. Okay. So it actually, it, you'll see it better on the lower time frames. Let's just go to the hour. Right. Okay, so there was my trend line. Okay, and that was my range. Okay, we gapped up. Like I said, um, we're looking for a move, second move to the upside. But what's happened here, if you look at this bar here, we've come back to test the break. So this towards the close is a long entry. Okay, so your stop would still be below this area here because that is below the flag and what you're looking for is a second move of this. So this is what you're looking for. Okay, so we've got a swing trade target of 12.643. Okay, so I think for today what I'm looking for is a continuation to the upside. I'm going to treat this daily bar as, um, oh, I'm going to treat the daily bar as anything, but I'm going to treat the pattern that I see as a signal to look for the longs. Okay. I may still get a second test to this level here. That's fine. It's pretty much a break below the bottom here is going to nullify, is going to sort of, uh, nullify the trade. So one, two, seven, seven, three. Um, that's my stop area. If we get below that, then obviously this flag break is uh, immaterial. Okay. So that's pretty much what I'm looking at. I know the daily doesn't give us the same picture, but um, when we start getting to situations like this, where we've got the oscillators on the daily all grouped the upside, all warning that we have a um, how to put it, that we have a uh, a level coming up that we need to pay attention to. I'll get back, you can see a lot of interaction here. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean we need to move move on it straight away. So when we see those, it doesn't mean we go short straight away because it could still rally. Okay, this could just be indecision and then a push to the upside. It's only a break below there below the low of yesterday that's going to change that. Okay, and I'm just saying a, a break below the low of the previous day because we have a bit of a flag. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment. So what I'm looking for is uh, either a, another move down, which is possible if we do this. So there was my first push down and this is looking like a little bit of a flag. We'll draw it in now, make this all really messy for you. Okay, 
So first move down, flag, second move down. Okay, and you can see it just comes towards the stop area here. Now if I look there, there is another uh, box gap. So that's also a fairly decent area for a long with stop below there. Okay, so a couple of things. And this is going to really get messy now. So the low of yesterday, which happens to be this gap close, okay, that is a line in the sand. So if price comes back to this level, hold that level and starts rallying, that's your signal for a long, and your stop is below 12 to 6, 9. Okay? However, bear in mind that you do have the potential for this wedge, which would be a breakout, and although the first target is a bottom of the wedge, your second target is this second move, which is this move down. And that brings us to this Brooks Gap. Okay, that to me is another area for a long. Okay, with a stop below this fractal or the stop below the moving averages, uh, the turn of moving averages on the 30 minute. So that's kind of the, the setup I'm looking for. And I am looking for longs, I'm not looking for shorts. So this is consolidation, this is consolidation. So this whole pattern that we see at the moment is sideways. You can see we're moving sideways, not moving up, and it is consolidation. Okay, why I'm looking for longs? Quite simply, we have a fairly solid structure flag break here with a retest. Okay, we can come back into the flag, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so I'm looking for that opportunity to get long because I do believe that this move here is going to have a second leg to the upside. Okay, overall the trend is up. We have a inverse head and shoulders breakout here. So that is my, my view at the moment. Okay. So the question is, you know, at which level we're going to get in. And again, I'd come down to the 12, 15 minute chart. Um, have a look here. This is a fairly interesting area, 12, 320, if we can form a double bottom here. But you'd want to see a pin bar or inside bar, some kind of price action on the 12 or 15 minute that's going to indicate that you've reversed. And only then do you jump into it. If you don't see a inside bar, you don't see an engulfing bar, you don't see pin bar at this level trying to form a double bottom, then wait. Then you're looking for the next one of the next two levels. But somewhere on these three levels, I suspect we're going to get buyers stepping in uh, to push us to the upside. Uh, may not happen today. It may just go sideways down and then just hover around here. And then Monday we may just... Um, shoot for the well next week i don't think we'll hit it in one day but next week we'll move the upside okay um the only thing that's going to change my opinion on this is pretty much a three hour close below 12 to 70. okay um the last thing to to point out here is we don't have diversion but we do have a potential double top on the oscillator Okay, and we've got a higher high here. So that is the only thing. So for me, I would expect sideways motion. Just let the oscillators ease off a bit sideways and then the buyers step in. Okay, here we go. That's my view on the DAX at the moment. I am looking for that next push up. But as you can see, yeah, markets have inertia. They always repeat what they did. A strong rally, sideways. Sideways for a week and a half. Strong rally in this week and now sideways for the balance of the week. Okay, so I'm expecting more sideways motion and uh, looking for that opportunity to get long again. Okay, here we go. That's it for me on the DAX. Hope it helps and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.